Cue the magic of life. The story of each one of us begins with the beautiful union of a sperm and an oocyte, forming a zygote. But have you ever wondered where these gametes come from? The answer lies in a special type of cells known as primordial germ cells, or PGCs for short. Formed in the epiblast during the second week of embryonic development, these cells take a fascinating journey. They move to the wall of the yolk sac, but they don't stay there. Around the fourth week, these cells begin their migration towards the developing gonads, reaching their destination by the end of the fifth week. During this journey, mitotic divisions increase their numbers. Once they arrive in the gonad, they're ready for their next phase, game to genesis. This includes meiosis, which reduces the number of chromosomes, and cytodifferentiation to complete their maturation. And so, in preparation for fertilization, the stage is set. The magic of life is ready to begin anew. Today, we delve into primordial germ cells and teratomas. Teratomas, intriguing tumors of disputed origin, often exhibit a variety of tissues. From bone and hair to muscle and gut epithelia, these tumors are akin to a biological puzzle. Thought to arise from pluripotent stem cells, these cells hold the extraordinary ability to differentiate into any of the three germ layers or their derivatives. A fascinating theory suggests that primordial germ cells, straying from their normal migratory paths, could be responsible for some of these unique tumors. Another potential source? Epiblast cells. These are the cells that give rise to all three germ layers during gastrulation. As for treatments, it's a multifaceted approach. Surgical removal is a common method, but the approach varies based on the location and size of the tumor. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy may be necessary in some cases. From the microscopic to the macroscopic, biology never ceases to amaze. Stay curious and keep exploring the mysteries of life.